one of the things I've done to help different departments work together. Um, I set up a, a group. We had the director of the animal shelter, the parks, the opera house, the expo center, and we just had a, like a weekly meeting, uh, probably more monthly, it was probably more accurate. And we shared resources. You know, we advertise for each other, um, make sure we're not on top of each other with big events, and, and just share resources, bounce ideas off of each other, and try to make some positive synergy. We help coordinate with the health department if they have an issue that they're trying to address. They may call us for resources or just maybe information. So we'll help them, we'll help the auditor's office. It just depends on what type of issue we have. Probably the most uh, with sheriff's department and with the health department we work probably the closest with. Just because of the nature of what they do, we kind of transition into, uh, into uh, all those areas of expertise. I'm uh, always available. Yesterday I talked with uh, Carrie Gertwin with the health department and we were going over possible ways that uh, the $1.7 million that she, uh, that their department got from the state could be helpful in other ways with the county government. I told her about Porter County Aging and Community Services having some difficulty problems with uh, finances and uh, told them they needed uh, drivers and she said they could not uh, help with buses but they could possibly help with uh, wages for drivers. Other departments, we work with the Porter County Sheriff's Department when it comes to warrants, serving protective orders probation, all sorts of things when it comes to the judicial side. Um, we work with the commissioner's office when it comes to anything regarding our facilities. We work with auditor's office when it comes to poll worker checks, regular payroll. We work with other departments on a daily basis. I made a point to set, um, I will say, meetings with other department heads that I was now on liaison to so that I knew exactly what they were about, what they may or may not have needed, and for them to know that I am a phone call away if they need something and that I will be there. The other departments in the county, um, a lot of them have to go through continuing education, whether it's the sheriff's department, the highway department, um, those are the two biggest ones I can think of, but so we give them the space that they need to um, do these classes and continue their education to make you know the the county safer the roads better all that good stuff so we um, host those events um, we also host a lot of um, fundraisers for not-for-profits and we're very proud of that because we give them a reasonable price and great service so they can fulfill their mission of raising funds for each of their different charities. So that's probably one of my favorite things is to be involved with those fundraisers because you really see the impact that it makes right here in the community.